So once you get access to kp3o.live during these six months or nine months or so, huge progress. So as usual, this is my control strategy. I only recommend assets at Bitcoin and all the other fixed related G7 categories. And if you're interested in my control strategy, please check out my other video about my control strategy. And here's my video link. And it plays KP3 or matching categories here. Number one, DApps. Especially they are focused on decentralized crowdsourcing platform starting for DeFi space. Okay? Now, as usual, I'm gonna apply six Anaka points, so starting for the pain points, products, team, execution power, token economy, and hype cycle. And for each, I set the 5.0 point here, so the total score is 30.30. Also, if you want a deeper understanding about how I'm gonna analyze each point here, please check out my other video about my altcoin investment strategy. And here's my video link, okay? Then here's the updated score of the KP3L. So December 2020, the total score is 25.5 points. And September 2021, the total score is 26.5 points. These red mark area here, I'm gonna update the score. Then these red mark area here, there is no score change, but there is a couple of critical updates for the project, okay? And from here, I'm gonna tell you the detail, okay? Then let's start from the paper analysis. So there is almost no change. So crypto asset industry needs scalable crypto earning engines for 4 billion internet users. The current blockchain mainstream is just an investment, as we know. But we need a consumer-friendly solution with lower risk to earn and use crypto assets on their daily life. Otherwise, mass adaptation of the crypto assets is never happens. Because all the time, those people who can invest in those crypto assets already have certain level of assets. You know, once you look at the entire people in the global, especially from the emerging economy, most of the people doesn't have any assets, investment in crypto assets. So from that perspective, you know, earning engine for the crypto assets is pretty important. Okay? So thinking about the mass adaptation of the crypto assets to blockchain technology, those kind of earning engine, like the global based one, it's play a critical role here. Then once we look at the you know, NFT space, we have variety of success on NFT, such as game arts, like you know, in the game case of Axie Infinity, on the NFT arts, such as Crossworld, but this requires special skill sets to make money inside this game or NFT art. So which means that we have to develop a much more scalable one or require lower skill sets to make money in crypto space. Those earning engine play the critical role here in this industry, okay? Then let's move to the next topic, product analysis updates. There is no update about overview of the KP3O, but I want you to pay attention to these two sentences here again. So KP3 can be described as a job matching network for job posters looking for keepers to do tasks for them and together with the incentive mechanism for all the party involved. Then for example, correcting harvest from yield farming, sometimes that generally needs to be done every day. These tasks are usually done by the programmer like Andy Cronjay, Andy Cronjay himself, but it would be time consuming for them to do so. So this is primary starting from the KP3O. Then once we're gonna look at the important overview, like this way. So here is a job, which is all the job tasks related to the DeFi market. Then everyone can take this job, okay? But if you wanna do much more higher level job in this you know, job market platform, you need to stay KPI we're talking here. More body, higher credit task, okay? Then about job poster, you just only need to the you know, job address like smart contract address and a job descriptions, then they can post a job here on the KP3 network platform here, okay? Then, as usual, value calculation analysis. So, there is no big change here, but this time, I'm gonna pay attention to this red mark area here, crypto earning sites and geographical scalability. Especially, I'm gonna compare this time, as Infinity and KP3O. The reason is, crypto earning sites put a critical role here. Because as we know, RC Infinity get a huge success to build a play to our world as a pioneer player. Especially combination with YZZ, play a critical role here. The reason is, because of the Corona shock, 
A lot of people in the emerging economy lost their job. But those people tend to become the crypto trader to make money on the NFT game. YZZ support a lot of those players here. Most importantly, both players so seriously focus on saving unbanked users in a global basis. Currently over 20.5 billion. Game itself is a great work here because there is no geographical barrier to play a game in a virtual space, right? Just you only need smartphone or laptop computer or the internet. That's it. There is no geographical limitations to play an NFT game on a virtual space. You know, completely the same things we can apply to KP302 because the most of the job task that KP302 can apply is those areas here. They are starting from the DeFi. Then about DeFi, they are variety opportunity too. For example, Nexus Mutual, property loss appraiser, great crowdsourcing work. But once we look at the entire crypto space, like a birth, Ethereum, smart contract audit, another work, or any kind of QA test for product developments, also great crowdsourcing work. And also about DAO, all the time, someone need to take care of the accounting. Any kind of job, we can create the matching opportunity on KP3R. But Omar analysis, focusing on DeFi is the right path as a gold market strategy because DeFi is the most fast growing industry category in the blockchain space. Which means that they have a lot of lot job opportunity in this pioneer industry, right? The key things I want you to understand here that play to our world has a great potential, it's for sure. But at the same time, what we're gonna look at job matching opportunity on KP3 also a lot of unbanked users on a global basis can do those in a crowdsourcing work in KP3 without any kind of geographical barrier. That's why I see the huge potential about KP3 okay? Then here's key updates about the project. Here's key comments from the founder of KP3 and the Crown J. KP3 is now a fee earning asset earning 200k per week and three new products vertical launching. One, MakerDAO, two, Sushi, and three, Ave. The KP3 originally started from Wi Fi. Now they are expanding to other major DeFi platforms, MakerDAO, Sushi, and Ave. So they are scaling right now. It's pretty great. The next one, team analysis updates. So again, he's a founder of the KP3O, Anekron J. He's also founder and creator of the Young Finance Steel, which means that the community of the Young Finance also hugely support the KP3 project too. Since Anekron J, just like you know, the father of the DeFi, this means he's kind of a Satoshi Nakamoto on the DeFi space too. Which means that you know, I'm gonna see the huge potential about DAO ecosystem development on the KP3O too. Okay? And then number four, executional power analysis. Here is the score updates. So once we get access to kp3o.live, their website, during these six months or nine months or so, huge progress. The number of the keeper currently over 1,000. The number of the work done is over 35K. Then kp3o's taking number is 4,400. And here's the major keeper status about how much KPR token they're going to earn on this crowdsourcing platform. Once we're going to look at this top three player, as you can see, they are already hitting over 1 million USD. It's amazing traction. So I'm going to see the huge potential of the project. It's amazing. Which means that their execution capability finally get the social proof with these stats. Okay. And then number five, token economy analysis. So here's token economy design metrics which I made and since KP3 is a DAPS, so that is why this one is a major matching category. Okay? One of the genius of the KP3, even it's an early stage project, but you know, since Adi Kronje is a genius guy to design an effective token economy, they already developed a pretty scalable network effect on their token economy. And it's starting from this one. User who wants to earn crypto assets for free. Right? Then more keepers join this ecosystem and then more KP3 bonding, more credit tasks come to this market. Then higher skilled keeper, they're gonna develop the step by step so they can provide better customer experience for the job poster. Then about job poster market, since Yam Finance provides a lot of job tasks for the keeper, these primary growth spider model here is already generated in this token economy. It's pretty beautiful. Then here's the second growth spiral for the project. So by leveraging this active keeper growth here, 
more burning demand for the KP3O because if the keeper wants to take the higher credit task, it requires bonding of the KP3O token. Then, so this brings us more or less token supply on the crypto exchange, the KP3O token. That is why less selling pressure on the KP3O, which motivates more and more users to join this crowdsourcing platform because it's much easier and a safe way to make money on the crypto space. As you can see here, the KP3 token economy is already beautifully designed. It's pretty great, okay? So that is why I can see the genius of the Omicron J from this network effect model here too, okay? Then about governance DAO model, reference Yahoo Finance, I don't worry about anything about the KP3 DAO model because Omicron J developed a pretty successful dev community on the DAO model on Yahoo Finance already. Then, Yahoo Finance dev community itself is heavily supported KP3 ecosystem too. So I don't see any issue here, okay? Then number six, hype cycle analysis. So here's the Gartner now hype cycle analysis, blockchain technology 2020 versions. And the major matching category of the KP3 is decentralized applications, smart contracts, DeFi, and decentralized web. Each item has a huge potential, as we know. KP3 is a pioneer player on the crowdsourcing platform and on blockchain space, so they can leverage you know, these momentum one by one in a pretty strong way, okay? So, final item, total score updates. So, again, total score. About execution power, I update from 3.5 to 4.5. The reason is quite simple. Once we can look at you know, their traction level within these nine months, it's amazing. Gradually, we can see the huge potential about decentralized crowdsourcing platform on the entire blockchain space then KP3O is a pioneer player. So once a lot of competitors come to this market and they try to compete with KP3O, KP3O's popularity also getting stronger and stronger. That's what I sense here, okay? Then if you got any kind of questions related to my analysis here, you can join my live Q&A sessions. Then there, I'm gonna answer every single questions related to this video analysis here. I know also you are busy, so you can post your question in advance before the live sessions. And during the live sessions, I'm going to answer your questions. Later, you can check out the recorded video on my YouTube channel. Okay? So for more detail, please check out my other video about my live q and sessions. And here's my video link. Okay? Alright, so that is all this time. So I'm going to make this video for the educational purpose. So I'm not going to guarantee you any kind of certain level investment outcome with this video or any other video that I make. But I truly hope that my video will probably help you guys understand about high potential about crypto and blockchain space. So I'm gonna make a lot of me in this video in crypto and blockchain space. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye.